This past Friday, a fox attacked six people in Brighton near Hollyvale Drive and Tillstone. Animal control was called in to help. We're told those victims are recovering, but we're hearing from one of those victims for the first time. Alex Love was out in that neighborhood again and joins us now in studio with that and an update on the investigation into the incident. Alex. Well, Adam and Teresa, those who live where this happened told us they've noticed that this fox and its cubs lingering around their homes for a few weeks, acting aggressive. Brighton Animal Control says they came out once earlier that same week, but couldn't locate the animals. Now neighbors want to be sure their community is safe. I have not, and I will not go out alone until this is resolved somehow. Back on Friday, Shirley Jacobson was walking down her driveway to get the mail when without warning, a fox ran up from behind, biting her left ankle, making her fall and sprain her wrist. Fox got hold of both sides of the leg. There are holes on the left side and the right side. They had to be treated with a series of shots around each bite. They were excruciating, and now I am told I have to continue with another series of rabies shots. Right after Jacobson was bitten, two more people off Tillstone were attacked. Tony DeLeva was pulling up to his home when he heard one neighbor scream and witnessed the fox attack another woman. After that second attack, which my kids and wife witnessed, uh, she called frantically again 911 and saying, hey, where are you guys at? There was just another attack. Animal control was there. That's when we were told not much they can do. Play loud rock music. Hopefully it will go away. Brighton Animal Control officers told us their only advice to neighbors was to call 911 immediately if they saw the fox appear. Although they were contacted a week before the attacks, BPD says the fox could not be located or trapped at the time. Humane traps, basically your rectangular style traps, uh, are not productive for us because fox, they know the difference between traps that they're not going to go into. After investigating, Brighton Animal Control determined these attacks were all linked to the same fox they eventually killed. Where the bites took place, and was able to piece together a path that would be one fox and also um, asked the people to describe the fox and all the descriptions came back the same. Test results from the Department of Health have yet to come in to determine what diseases this fox may have had, but after assessing its body, Brighton Animal Control suspects it might have been suffering from mange. Adam. Very interesting, Alex. Thank you. Now, the deputy chief says animal control has since put out those humane traps anyway following the attacks to capture any cubs still wandering the neighborhood. They're also going to be patrolling the area daily.